Hey, this is Sean. Sean Cole Enterprises, online entrepreneur, online marketer, um, royalty affiliate. And I'm here to talk to you today about the truth about network marketing. This is my truth in network marketing. Um, I'm not here to t sell you a dream. Network marketing MLM is a hard business. Um, you can make a lot of money in it. You can make a small money, amount of money in it, or you can make no money. It's all up to you and the amount of work that you decide to put into your business and how that you want to build your business. But I'm just going to touch on briefly um, my personal truth for network marketing and what I've observed in network marketing since I've been doing it online for the last couple of years. Um, what I've come, come to realize is that the majority of, the, of your company, um, they're going to be your customers. They're going to like and love your product, and basically that's good. They're good to have. They're not necessarily going to build a business and give you the leverage that you want in your business, but what they are going to do is provide you with stability in your business because they are going to be your probably your most longest tenured um, people in your business will be your customers. Love on your customers. No need to push them to try to build a business that are interested in that. They just like the product or service that your company offers, and that's good enough for them. They're going to pay, pay their bill every month, and they're going to be loyal to the company. Um, also, what I've learned is that um, some people are going to just join the company just to be a part. Some people are out here just looking to be a part of something. They want to be a part of a the group. They might have seen you, liked your energy, liked your message, maybe the training that you provide, and they just want to be around. They're cool, too. They're going to stick around a nice little bit of time for you. They're going to be loyal to you. You're going to build a relationship with them people. And tell you, to be honest with you, if you have a large social media platform, they are going to be your biggest, say, supporters and cheerleaders. They're good to have. But they're not going to build a business. They're not necessarily going to go up and um, bring in recruits or bring in customers. They're just going to be there. They're going to pay their bill every month and just going to be happy to be a part of something. Then they're going to show up to conventions, they're going to show up to meetings, they're going to show up to group trainings and all that. They're going to be there. They're good to have too also. Even though, like I said, once again, they're not necessarily leveraging your business, but they are going to be there because they're going to provide you with numbers and they're going to stick around, you know, just pretty much because they like you and they like the group and the atmosphere that you provide, and they're going to be there, they're going to be loyal to the company, they're good to have too. Um, then you had the people who are just going to sell the product, pretty much. And when I say sell the product, I mean that's just what it is. They're going to sell the customers, they're going to build up customers, they're going to service customers. Um, they're not necessarily going to go out and go after recruit other distributors and build a business that way. They're just basically going to build their business and their downline on producing customers. And again, that's fine too because with you building a business, you need these people because again, they're bringing on long tenured customers who like the product, are going to use the product, pay their bills. They'll be the ones that'll be the most technical people. They will know everything about the product that the company has. And they're, they're the ones that are going to have all the answers. You know, they're good to have. They're pretty much what I like to call your customer service reps. They're your best, your best people. Um, then you're going to have people who are just looking to recruit and train salespeople. Um, not necessarily going to build a business per se. Um, not going to have a whole gang of customers. They're just pretty much going to be offering the opportunity as a money-making opportunity. And um, pretty much they're going to go and they're going to train people and, you know, show them how to sell the product. Um, they're good to have. And on average, you know, it all basically depends on how much effort they put into the business, how much time they put into the business, how good they are with talking to people, and how good they are in tra at training people. But most likely on average, you know, they'll recruit somewhere. They might have a downline between five people, six, seven people, something like that which is cool, you need them also because they're going to help you out with your trainings. They're going to help you as far as showing the product. Um, they're going to also going to help you out when you have meetings and group meetings and stuff like that. You know, those people are very useful. And then you have 
what we like to say, say, see, um, lack of a better term, let's say super recruiters, the top 1% in every business, every company has them. And they, on average, now we're talking numbers here. Um, network marketing is, is a big niche with a lot of people in it. So we're talking about the top 1%. And when we're talking about the top 1%, on average, the top 1% only recruits on average about 10 people. So if you have a network marketing business, you have a downline, and you have recruited, put in more than 10 people into your business, you are the top 1%. You're making pretty decent money, and um, you're doing it well. Well, the thing about it is, for myself, I've put in, like I said, two years. I'm approaching... Somewhere between 64, 65 people I put into business. Now, have all those people stayed? No. Have they, people left? Yeah, of course, because, you know, that's part of part of the network marketing business. You know, people come in, they look for a quick buck. That's not what this is. You know, it takes time. It takes effort. Yeah, you have some people that come in. They come in. They're hot on fire. They recruit, 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 recruit. But the thing is, you have to have the 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 tools in place to, to be for people to be able to be successful. Um, if you don't have that, you can recruit all day long, but you're just pretty much running in mud. Um, you're not going to see a lot of traction. Um, you have to be able to train, provide tools, provide support for your team. Your team members for you to be successful in your business, for you to reach the the point one one percent, and that's what we all shooting for. Um, so look at it like this. If you're in network marketing, and on average, if you're earning $300 a month off of a business, you're pretty much in the top 10%. If you're making $1,000 a month, which is good, which is pretty decent money for someone that's looking for a part-time job. We're talking about maybe about $1,200, $1,300 a year. Um, you might hit some bonuses in there. Have be a little bit more than that depending on your comp plan. You're doing excellent. You're doing excellent. So keep pushing. Keep building your business. Um, and keep going, man. It's a struggle. So we all want to be millionaires. That's what we want to be. We all want to avoid this and get out of this 9 to 5 struggle. And take control of our lives. And that's what we're doing. We're on our way to doing that. We can do it. You can do it. And that's what it is. That's my goal. Is to keep recruiting. Keep Keep building. Keep training. Keep showing, keep finding new and creative ways to share my opportunity and my business and my products with as many people as possible. And that's what I do on a daily basis. Seven days a week, I have marketing running 24 hours a day, 365, no days off. My phone is always there. I'm always answering it. I'm always working on it. I'm always working on building my business, and you, as you should as well. If you have any questions, you know, you can reach out to me. Again, my name is Sean, Sean Cole Enterprises, um, 410-929-3390. I would love to hear from you. If you like the content in this video, leave a comment, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button. And, um, yeah, I'll be talking to you soon. You can have a great day. Thank you.